Do you have a pet, a cat, a dog, perhaps a goldfish? Or maybe you don't have one at all. Regardless, we all know that from time to time, in order to look after an animal's health, one might take them to a vet. But how exactly would you conduct a health checkup for an animal that can weigh as much as 80,000 kilograms and reach lengths of over 17 metres long, such as a whale? My answer, whale snot, which is that visible plume of spray rising from a whale's blowhole, which contains biological information such as bacteria, which we can collect to provide a checkup of a whale's health. But how exactly do we pick a whale's nose? Well, previously, health information from whales came from those in which had stranded, in which case their health was compromised, or from those that were deliberately killed. And current methods to collect whale snot involve scientists being on a boat with a long pole and a petri dish and holding this over a whale's blowhole. <laughs> but this can be dangerous, as a whale could actually flip a boat. So to make collecting health information from whales easier, I collaborated with drone experts in industry, and together we designed and built waterproof drones with remotely operated petri dishes for collecting whale snot from northward migrating humpback whales off Sydney, Australia for an assessment of whale health. To collect our samples, we hopped on a boat. Then once we saw a whale, the drone is flying from the back of a boat all the way over to the whale's position. Then as the whale took a breath, the petri dish would open. The drone was then flown through the densest part of the whale's snot. Immediately after, the lid was shut, securing the sample as the drone was flown back to the research vessel. <laughs> Overall, we collected 59 samples of whale snot. I then used forensic techniques to try and identify the types of bacteria living in whale lungs. And interestingly, I found these whales shared similar bacteria with northern hemisphere whales, but I also found out that these whales are acting as massive mobile monitors of our ocean health, collecting bacteria as they travel from their cool feeding waters of Antarctica, past the beaches off Sydney, which I swim in, and all the way to the warm waters of northern Australia. And then doing that all the way back again each and every single year as they migrate. My research is transforming the way in which we collect health information from whales without having to hurt them. Drones really are giving rise to a new era in whale conservation. And I'm snot joking. Thank you. <laughs>